Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Amy. And we're Stella's Table. Today we're making butternut squash ravioli a la biscottini. Let's cook! For the butternut squash filling, you will need butternut squash, mascarpone cheese, parmesan cheese, olive oil, Italian parsley, salt, pepper, and Stella's Table citrus sea salt. For the ravioli dough, you're going to need flour, eggs, olive oil, water, and salt. And to finish it off, biscottini. biscottini. If we don't eat them all. <laughs> to start, we're going to roast the butternut squash. Place the squash in a bowl and then add the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, and Stella's Table Citrus Sea Salt. We're going to then place it on a pan where we're going to roast it at 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. You really want a fork to be able to go through the squash very easily. And then take it out. And always grab up those extras at the bottom of the bowl so you can get it all covered up. Ready to go. For the ravioli dough, measure your flour onto a work surface, create a wonderful little well, and then you're going to take your three eggs and salt, whisk that together. Pour your egg mixture and olive oil into the well of the flour. Fold over the flour to incorporate the wet into the dry. Continue to mix until all of the ingredients are incorporated into your flour, and it starts to begin to form a ball. For the filling, add the butternut squash to a food processor. Then we're gonna add the mascarpone cheese, the Italian parsley, and the Parmesan cheese to the mixture. And then we're gonna blend until it's smooth and creamy. Let's scrape the sides. So there's still some chunks of butternut in here. We want it to be really smooth and creamy, so let's go a little bit longer. I don't see any large chunks in there. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that's pretty young, wonderful mm. and creamy. It's time to roll the dough. We have two dough balls here, and we're going to use one for the bottom layer of the ravioli and one for the top. So let's get started. You're going to start by sprinkling a little bit of flour to prep your work surface. Start by flattening it out with your hand, just to get a little head start. And get to work. Amy. And get to work. And you're going to want to roll this out into a rectangle. Um, about the same exact shape and size as the top layer. Maybe this one a little bit smaller, so you have a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to make her do all the heavy lifting here. This dough is perfect. I flip, and if I have to add a little more flour, I do. And you just keep going. I think it's going to be fun to show you guys also how we do our ravioli now because we didn't find this. Remember the mold? This was hidden in a garage it was for hidden a long time. for years and yeah. years and years, yeah. and we found it. And at first, we weren't quite sure what it was for. And now the mom said this is what her mother used yeah. to make the ravioli. And now that I think about it, how did we not know that? They look like know, ravioli, like but that. anyway. Um, and so now this is what we use when we make them, and man, has it made our lives easier. Okay, so we have our two sheets now. You want the top one to be just a little bit bigger than the bottom one, and then we're gonna just set that aside, and we're gonna be ready to put on the bottom layer. Now we're gonna spread the butternut squash mixture onto the dough. And you're gonna leave about maybe a quarter inch on the edges. Yeah, you need to be able to allow the dough to seal. So I go to about, yeah, like, I guess that's about a quarter an inch, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Maybe a little more. And um, just keep going out, going on and doing it evenly. All right, let's put the second layer over the top of the butternut squash mixture. Okay. You got that. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, and then I like to spread out the sides, right, like this. Just pull it with your fingers. Try not to make holes like I just did. 
so you get a good overlap, right? Because that's going to secure the dough in there. All right, and then you're ready to roll it. So what I do is I try to, it's gonna be challenging going this way. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go this way. So um, you wanna get the edge, right? Like on the edge of the ravioli, right? So you have it here so that it's actually matching up, if that makes sense. You'll see as I go. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna use as much power as you can on your arms. If I could climb on the counter, I actually would right now, because <laughs> you wanna really use your, the weight of your body to kind of depress these ravioli into the dough. So I'm gonna go this way. You're gonna see how it goes. You get on one side and I can get on the other. Okay, you take that side now and I'll take this one. Here we go. You're gonna see how they come out just perfectly shaped as you go through. So now you have your shape, but they're not cut yet, right? You couldn't, this is not done by any stretch of the imagination because you have to seal them. Yeah. So that's where the ravioli cutters come in handy. Now that you take that one, don't overthink this. <laughs> If you try to go super slow and get the lines perfectly, you will mess up every time. So as you're coming through, just use the ravioli cutter, right? As your guide, the lines are here. Go really, when you're pressing down, go nice and hard, okay? And then you can go line to line. The ravioli are prepared and now it's time to put them in the boiling water. I would do only one tray of ravioli at a time. So if you have multiple trays, do these in batches. I'm gonna drop them in here and we're gonna cook them for about three to five minutes. It's a good idea to always taste before you pull. The ravioli are done, so let's get them into that hot brown butter and sage sauce. Here I'm pickle. I get all that deliciousness. Give a little brown to our ravioli. We plated our butternut squash ravioli. So let's now finish it with our Parmesan cheese, some Italian parsley, and our biscottini. done. And now, let's see, it's time to go in. These are honestly my favorite things in the whole world. If these are served, I eat them. In a restaurant, I order them. Are you ready? Is it, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Mm. The sweetness of the biscotti mm -hmm. with the uh, natural sweetness of the butternut squash, perfect. And that mascarpone cheese makes it rich in the inside. A lot of people will use Amoretti cookies on top of the butternut squash ravioli mm -hmm. or pumpkin ravioli. We love using our biscottini on top. Special little treat. These are good. Find the link for this recipe in the description below and on our website at stellastable.com. And I'm Amy. I'm in the green. I counted to two. One, two. Oh, one, <laughs> Do it together, ready? One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Today we're going to be making butternut squash, squash. What are you making? Butternut squash. I got a chew. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Just. I'm just. I'm going to put myself out there that I have not effed up once today. Just saying. Oh, she really got this, doesn't she? What, 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 what,